RBG Real Estate Episode 4. For four straight weeks, we've been reviewing this anime. And we've, we've featured this one uh, as a daily. So first story is about uh, a client, a walking client named Toto. She's a girl. Remind you. And she has a pet Pegasus named Shiro. Nagihirapan siya. Oh, um, bagong, basically, bagong salta siya sa city. Kasi, like, Kotone, she just uh, took a job here. So, so nung problema siya ngayon, so, kung saan siya titira, and kung saan niya ilalagay ang kanyang pet Pegasus na to. Who's been her pet since she was yeah, for as long as she can remember. They have no choice but to um to let the client go. Pero um biglang naalala ni Cotton eh na meron pala silang property na saktong-sakto sa klienteng ito. They were able to um to to make Toto and Shiro double back. Ayun. Tinripping nila ngayon sa property na sa property in question. It's a house that's perched on a mountain top and it's big enough for Shiro to live in. Eventually, nakuha niya yung property. Honor the job well done for RPG Real Estate. Second story. Um, you can say that there nagkaroon ng internal strife from uh, within uh, within the ranks kasi merong lumapit na mayamang kliyente kay Rufuria. May pinapabeda sa kanilang um, forthcoming apartment building. So, kumbaga, uh, they, they were hired to do pre-selling para ma-fill up kagad yung mga magiging tenants ito. Mag- ma-fill up kagad yung apartment building na to, na to the moment it um, uh, the moment construction is completed. Uh, Rufuria inspected the property. The property in question used to be their family's house. Okay. So, pag uwi niya, uh, she, tinuloy niya yung paperwork. Pero, nakita siya agad ni Rakira. Na-recognize yung itsura ng property. Sabi, Ha? Huh? Teka. Aba, bahay niyo dati ito ah. Ba't yo? Aba, teka muna. Ako, ako muna mag, ako na magkasigaso nito. But, talagang, um, they had an argument. Okay, they really had an argument. Uh, Rufuria and Rakira. Eventually, Rakira walks out of the office. Umuwi na lang. Na, eventually, nahanap ni, uh, ni Kotone si Rakira. In the same property in question. So, kinwento lahat ni, uh, ni Rakira ang buong backstory ng bahay na to. So, pag ni Rufuria, ayun, nag-usap nga sila ng masinsina ni Rakira. Eh, sinabi naman ni Rakira, Come on, it's okay. Pero, well, are you sure you, you want to sell the house? Ang dami, ang dami natin good memories doon. Yeah, well, inamin naman ni Ruforia na there, there were more um, good memories than bad ones in that house. But, sinabi, uh, she also told Rakira that I'm going to tell uh, our future clients that this prop. This apartment building stands on um, stands on a lot that has good memories for me. And well, eventually yun, pumahing na rin si, Rufu- si Rakira na si Rufuria na mag-handle. Final scene. Ayun. Eh, Nabuta na lang nila Cotton at Fa na, uy, magkasundo na yung, yung dalawa nilang uh, the twin CEOs of this company. So Patreon, mga ka-lifestyle. Let's break this episode down now. Critics of style. Pace. Uh, this episode picked up the pace was when Kotone had that aha moment at pinabalik niya at pinabalik niya sila Toto at uh, Shiro. And uh, of course, pinuntahan nila yung yung huling yung huling baraha niya na property. So kasi it's not the type of pace that will elicit um sadness or stress none of that it's the type of pacing that will lift your spirits up kasi ang 
may ang may isip mo nito. Uy, there's hope na makakabenta si Cotton eh. There's hope na uh, kikita ngayong araw ang kumpanyang ito. So, do I have complaints? No. <laughs> Ako, I totally relate. Like I've been saying in the uh, all this time, mga ka-lifestyle, Patreon. I totally relate to the pacing of this anime. Kasi, nangyayari talaga itong mga ganito. The moment you you sometimes get these aha moments, the moment your prospect walks out of the door, then bigla-bigla may, na, may naalala kang, Uy! Teka mo na. Ah, ma'am, sandali lang po. So, that will be your last ace. Yung huling baraha mo, your last chance to to get this person as a client. And, yup, it worked for Koto, for Kotone. Yeah, relate na relate ako sa sa pacing talaga ng episode na to. Flow naman. First gear shift here was, well, biggest gear shift of the first story was that aha moment by Kotone. It's the most relatable gear shift of this episode. Especially if you're into the profession of selling. Kung real estate broker ka, kung insurance, uh, if you sell insurance, even if you sell, um, even if you sell, uh, even if you sell e-load, or even, <laughs> or, or or even, or even, um, or even bigo diamonds. Final gear shift, biggest, biggest one of the second story was when, um, Ruforia, obvious. Finally opens up to Rakira on why she why she uh, why she always acts tough why she always la- um, acts like an alpha adult yeah. yeah she's got that alpha that alpha female mentality bullet enhance the friendship of the four main protags absolutely just watch this gear shift so these two gear shifts that I saw. The second one, I feel it in my bones that this will play a role down the line in this anime. Plot wise, di ko tatagalin ang assessment ko sa plot. Planchado mga ka lifestyle. Again, the transitioning was impeccable. Kasi, parang, ano lang eh, parang within a within a 24-hour gap lang yung dalawang story, ah. Because, nag-umpisa ang second story with a, um, what's call this? Uh, with some, something that pertains to edible flowers na, of course, uh, they, they were talking about fast eating habits here. Walang masamang tinapay, kay, walang masamang tinapay sa demi-human na to. As long as it can be eaten. <laughs> All right. So, yun pa lang, pwede mo nang itali dun sa first story. Paano? Because yung property na kinuha ng nila, nila Shiro at uh, Toto, maraming bulaklak dito because it is a mountainous area. At yung mismo property, may mga, may, may, may sariling garden ito. So, and... Um, the final scene of that first story shows uh, showed um, Kotone and Fa tending to tending to the edible flowers Kotone was talking about in the second story. At saka nakita pa nilang um, papasok na sa trabaho si uh, si Toto. Of course, sakay-sakay niya. Sakay-sakay siya ni, ni Shiro. So, well, right there, libre-libre transpo niya kasi she she's got a pet Pegasus for for uh, as a means of transportation. Really snon. So, okay, transition talaga. Because if you want a plot to be deemed as well ironed out, kasi ala tay, tapit dalawang magkaibang story talaga. Eh. But you really you really need to have a good transition point para seamless yung panonood ng ng viewer. Hindi yung tipong tapos bigla bigla bigla. Uy, palibagong storya. Minsan uh, in this in this day of age, 
that's uh that's a bit of a no no baka biglang well baka biglang marod na lang ng ibang uh, ng ibang anime ang viewer kaya it's a well ironed out plot again by this anime so pace flow and plot they all came together for this episode folks so RPG Real Estate Episode 4 Two thumbs up! Gina ako lang pa itong pick-tong pick mine. Bakit? Because I truly feel that the anime gods are at work here. Kasi uh, uh, I'm um, well I'm using a uh, I'm using a randomizer to to help me determine which animes I'm going to uh, review for Patreon and to feature as a daily on YouTube. And for four straight weeks now, RPG Real Estate has always ended up in the top five. Kasi, pag sinabing top five, yun ang ipi-feature ko dito sa YouTube. It always ends up in the top five. <laughs> so, yeah, we can... Well, believe it or not, the anime gods have, um, have, uh, what's it called this? Have have put their hands in it or uh, for the fourth straight week. So, well, there's nothing I could do there. There's, not gonna, there's nothing I could do there, mga ka-lifestyle, Patreon. Taga-review lang naman ako eh. <laughs> Alright? So, again, RPG Real Estate Episode 4, two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for RPG Real Estate, mga ka-lifestyle. Wow. Four straight weeks. Four straight weeks. Will we be able to uh, to feature this again on YouTube next week? I can't tell. And I don't even know. Because you know how the anime gods work. Yep, means I'm going to play. So Patreon, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And if you're still stuck with the CHD Maka lifestyle, eh, wala na ako magagawa sa inyo. Eh, chill-chill na lang muna kayo dyan. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.